What's cracking, baseball fans? Welcome to the channel today. So in honor of Major League Baseball's opening day that did not happen this past week, I have come up with a list of my favorite Major League Baseball opening day moments. If you are new here today and you're looking for more baseball insight during this downtime, feel free to subscribe down below. If you like today's video, leave me a thumbs up. If not, leave me a thumbs down and please leave a comment at the end. Tell me what you think. Coming in at number five, baseball returns in 1995. 1994 will always be remembered for being the season that was cut short due to the players striking against a possible salary cap. There were no playoffs, no World Series, no free agency, no trades. The Expos became the biggest what-if team ever. Michael Jordan's Major League Baseball career ended, and it put a nail in the coffin in Tony Gwynn's effort to hit 400. The season ended up being pushed back and officially began on April 25th, 1995. In the end, both the players and the owners looked bad, and the biggest losers ended up being the fans. In the end, though, baseball returned, and this was huge for the game and its future. Coming in at number four, I have Bob Feller's opening day no-hitter. As of right now in 2020, there has only been one man to throw a no-hitter on opening day, and that goes to Bob Feller, one of the best pitchers of all time. In a career that spanned 20 years that also included three years of military service, Bob Feller won 266 games, he had 2,581 strikeouts, he had six seasons of more than 20 wins, and one World Series ring. He also threw three no-hitters in his career, with the first one coming on opening day in 1940 against the Chicago White Sox. While he did walk five guys, he did end up striking out eight batters in a game that will go down in opening day history. Coming in at number three, I have Frank Robinson making his debut as the first ever African-American manager. While Jackie Robinson gets most of the credit for breaking the color barrier, one person that also deserves a ton of credit is Frank Robinson. Frank Robinson started his major league career in 1956 with the Cincinnati Reds. He went on to have a Hall of Fame career and he eventually became the first ever African American manager in the major leagues. He not only was a manager, but he was the player manager for the Cleveland Indians in 1975. On opening day, he not only became the first ever African American manager, but he also hit a home run that day. Coming in at number two on my list, I have Hank Aaron ties Babe Ruth for the home run record. When Babe Ruth retired with 714 home runs, no one, and I mean no one, thought anyone would ever break that record. Enter Hank Aaron. When he began his career in 1954, he only hit 13 home runs in his first season, but after that, he consistently hit a good amount of home runs each year. In 1971, at 37 years old, he started to pick up some serious steam as he hit a career-high 47 home runs, putting him at 639 for his career. Two years later, he managed to hit number 713 in his second-to-last game of the season, but couldn't make it to 714 in the last game. After a long winter that included a lot of death threats in the mail from people not wanting him to pass Babe Ruth, Hank Aaron went on to hit a three-run homer in his first at-bat of the season and to tie Babe Ruth. An absolutely incredible opening day moment. And coming in at number one on my list, I have Jackie Robinson debuting. This isn't only an amazing baseball moment, but a great moment in American history as this happened right in the middle of the civil rights movement to put an end to racial segregation. Technically, Jackie Robinson wasn't the first ever African American baseball player, as that title goes to Moses Fleetwood Walker, but what Jackie Robinson did during the heart of racial segregation was incredible. Jackie Robinson signed with the Brooklyn Dodgers on April 10th, 1947, and debuted literally five days after on opening day. He went on to have a great career. But to become a key figure in helping end racial segregation, that will forever go down in history. So that's my list of my favorite opening day moments. What opening day moments are on your list? Feel free to tell me down below in the comments. If you like today's video, leave me a thumbs up. If not, leave me a thumbs down. And again, if you are looking for more baseball insight, feel free to subscribe down below. That's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.